So welcome again, and now I'm going to uh, to this presentation. We are going to identify various remedial agencies that God has put in nature. Again, remember the principles of life that we talked in our earlier class, and ask God to give you strength and uh, uh, hearkening here to make sure that you follow these principles, the principles of water, the principles of exercise, the principle of fresh air, the principle of proper rest, the principle of being in the sun in this right time, the principle of, of uh, proper rest, and also the principle of helping your neighbor, and the principle of studying the Word of God and trusting in God for power to help you live. We are going to this class to discuss multitudes or myriads of uh, plants that help with their phytochemicals to regenerate and store the system. And first of all, we we trying to identify them, how they look, how they look like, and how they grow. And also, we going to look at their common names and what they are majorly used for, what it is effective in. And so we begin with our first hub here is, the first hub that we have is um, the Senna. The Senna is a very important, uh, a very important hub that God has given us in nature. The botanical name is called Senna alata and the English common name is Senna, and it is majorly known for bowel cleansing. Uh, well, we need to, to know how it looks like in nature. It's Venetian and how it grows, the color of the flowers. And I believe that this is a common hub that most of us have ever seen. Well, Senna is used on a short-term basis to treat constipation. It also is used to empty the bowels before surgery and certain medical procedures. Senna is in a class of medications called stimulant laxatives. It works by increasing activity of the intestines to cause a bowel movement. Now, this is what we want. Our body must be given, our body must be given, um, we must give our body a cleansing uh, um, momentum to make sure that it releases the waste. Basically, we know that uh, the body has to produce waste, and one of the uh, channels in which we uh, release the waste is through uh, the bowels. And you know, are the elimination channels like the, 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 the kidney, the blood vessels, the lungs, um, and your brain is also very important part of elimination channel, the most people not knowing it. Now we must know another elimination channel that is the liver. Um, all this must be helped to eliminate the waste. The colon is the second brain, and so we need to use Senna as one of the most important uh, organ that uh, helps in the elimination. And Senna is one of the these hubs that majorly do does that. It's common names or brands that we find there in the in pharmacognosy are black trot, the Exflux, the Fletcher, Castoria, the Nature's Remedy, our Pedium, Overnight Relief, Senation, Senna, Exprep, and Senacot. Uh, most people branded it like if you're going for a colonoscopy, they have to give you uh, this uh, Senna tea to make sure that it relieves you of the uh, the pilage and the putrefied matter within your colon system. Medical medicinal properties of Senna is helps and strengthen the GI tract by elimination of those. Uh, uh, of those toxins, it increases peristaltic action of the GI tract. And it is used as a strong laxative, so not recommended for prolonged usage by it because it can wash 
the good bacteria. So you need to use it uh, moderately, about uh, three times in a week, and then you will have to stop. And then after using that, you have to use some probiotics that are helpful in regenerating the regenerating the um, the biotic matter within your system. Well, it helps to clean the intestinal walls, anti-parasite, it has anti-parasite um, effects. It is able to, uh, to remove <coughs> the, the worms within your system. And we use it mostly for uh, bacterial cause, uh, causing, disease causing agents like the typhoid, the amoeba, the brucellosis, and also uh, the cholera. One of the most important uses is in the elimination of the parasites in your system, like the tapeworms. So senna leaves contain essential oils and tannins that help to, re to alleviate skin inflammation. Why? Because the health of the gut depend, uh, the health of the skin depends on the health of the gut. If you see the ringworm, if you see itchiness, it is a sign of a clogged system, more so the colon or the GIT. So you need to use senna first of all to eliminate those worms and to cleanse the GIT tract. It is used for amoeba cases and also we use it for, uh, uh, for typhoid. Combat hair loss, senna plant may be able to improve the condition of the scalp by helping to treat dandruff, also being able to prevent hair loss. Now, we need to know how to use it in, uh, for combating hair loss. We use the leaves majorly. What you have to do is to make a strong uh, decoction of the leaves. You can crush, uh, for one pound of the leaves, you crush them and put them in about a gallon of water. Let it stay overnight in the morning. You can use it to wash your, uh, your, your hair every day, about three times, and will be able to regenerate your scalp and initiate the growth of the good, uh, good hair. And if you're using for cleansing the colon, uh, you'll have to, to get a handful of the fresh leaves and then crush them and put them in hot water. Let it steep for about uh, 20 minutes and then you have to, uh, to sieve it and use it in. Uh, take it in um, about uh, once every day for three days. It is better you take it at in the morning at 6, but you'll not have to take some foods. You'll have just to eat, uh, to drink your water. <coughs> Sorry. And then allow its effects. Its effects comes after about 6 hours. Um, you'll begin having a serious peristaltic movement and gushing out of the debris from your rectum. And so it helps to remove those toxins every time. And after you have used it, another thing you will have to, to know is that you'll have to take uh, foods. Uh, you also take some light food. You know, not to take hard foods that takes time to, to digest. It is better after doing the colon cleanse the following day, what you do is to begin with the fruits like pineapples. You can begin with fruits like apples, fruits like purples that have that are not very hard for the system to digest. Now let's continue with some of the importance of this herb senna. It eliminates intestinal worms. It treats indigestion and promotes weight loss because it will be removing a lot of those toxic debris. debris matter within your colon. The senna plant may be able to effectively treat hemorrhoids or inflammation of the veins surrounding the anal passage, which usually result, from, result when there is excessive pressure. Now, why it is very effective for the hemorrhoids is because most of the hemorrhoids are as a, as a result of the constipation, and it eases the constipation. 
The center plant may help boost the defense system of the body to, so that it can effectively detect foreign pathogens that may be dangerous to our health. And the center plant can help detoxify the body by getting rid of toxins via urine and it prevents multiplication of bacteria. The sena possesses bacteriostatic properties which slows the replication of bacteria even though it may not kill them. Well, so that is the importance of this, that this plant, the sena, and also we must know that it is uh, very helpful for your liver. If you have a liver problem, you'll have to use senna for this case. The senna plant may help improve the function of the lungs and may be an effective remedy for asthma and other respiratory diseases. It works by reducing inflammation in the lungs so that breathing difficulties are eliminated. Another thing, it prevents bad breath. Uh, but breath may result from poor dental hygiene and may be worsened by other unhealthy habits. Most times, antiseptic mouthwashes are used to treat bad breath. However, the leaves from the senna plant may also be effective in preventing bad breath. A good way to use the senna plant for this purpose is to soak the leaves in boiling water and then allow it to cool before swishing around the mouth. So bad breath mostly is because of a dirty GIT, and Senna will help you for that. Welcome, uh, brothers and sisters. We'll be continuing with some of this presentation in our next class. I hope you are blessed with the Senna. And that is all that we have uh, in relation to this, uh, this hub. And God bless you till our next class where we are going to discuss plantain or the plantago major.